Hi, I'm Mark, and today I'm going to be talking about nether hubs. Now, you may be saying to yourself, what is a nether hub? If you've never heard of one, here's what they are. They're simply centralized locations in the nether that allow you to travel from one spot in the overworld to another spot in the overworld eight times faster than you normally would. Now, the reason that is is because the nether itself is eight times smaller than the overworld. So if you think about it, if you drop down into the nether, cut across and come back up, you're going to do it eight times faster. One of the nice things about a nether hub like this is that it's a safe haven in the nether. Now if you think about it, if you went overland in the nether, I should say, from one spot to another, you're in a lot of danger. You're dealing with gas, you're dealing with zombie pigmen, you're dealing with all of that stuff. If you have this centralized location that you can go through, you're able to keep yourself safe as you travel. That can make a big difference in, uh, in how many XP you manage to hold on to. It also gives you easy access to another fortress. Um, right now, I don't think that this particular hub connects to another fortress, but let's say it did. We could go in here, travel down the tunnel to another fortress, and easily get our blaze rods and our uh, nether skeleton skulls and uh, our nether wart and all of those things easily. It is a potential place for stores. Let me go down here once and I'll show you what I mean. God, I hate ladders. If we go down to the bottom here, we can see that around the edges are stores. Here's a horse shop. Here's another shop. All around there's shops that you can put in this centralized location. It's almost like a mall in the fact that people can come there from all over and buy other people's wares. It can be a central meeting spot as well. When I was on this server, now this, this is the Van Evo server and it's, uh, it's not open anymore to the public, but we used to always meet in this centralized location down here. So we knew if somebody wanted to give us something, all we had to do is run to the, uh, to the central location in the nether, in the nether hub, and we knew that's where we were going to meet. The circular shape has is, is got a specific purpose. You noticed probably that all of these gates around the outside edge um, are leading off like in a spoke pattern. They're going outside away from the hub. This is important because as you tunnel out into the nether or make a walkway or whatever you need to do, you don't want to crisscross paths. These spokes allow you to go out to your location easily and not have to zigzag around. Some tips uh, on building a nether hub like this, especially with big open spaces, is make sure that everything is half slabs. The reason, or staircases, the reason I say this is because especially ghasts can spawn within these empty spaces and they can make a mess of a nether hub. We had that happen here. Uh, a ghast spawned right in the middle here. And the reason he did is because of the nether portals here. The portals were flat on top. It gave an opportunity for that gas to spawn. So we uh, immediately after that put half slabs on top to prevent that from happening again. The uh, entrances here really need to be pre-made. And I'm going to go back up again to show you what I mean. God, I hate ladders. I hate ladders. I hate ladders. Probably because I'm not very good at them. If you look around the room, you can see all of these tunnel entrances are the same size. The reason being is that they look nicer. It also points people in the right direction for how they should build their gates. Now, a lot of people build them with different materials, they mark them differently, but overall, they're pretty much all the same shape and size. That adds a cohesiveness to a hub that you're not gonna get if you uh, don't pre-build those, those entrances. You also wanna try to pre-make signs. Now, I'm not being a control freak here, but if you put signs all in the same location uh, on, these, on these entrances, the chance is that folks are going to put their signs there as well. And it just makes for a better look. They didn't do that on this server. And you look around, you can see signs everywhere. Um, not necessarily a bad thing, but uh, it does tend to look a little bit nicer. Now when it comes to making these tunnels, what you want to do is find the one that is closest to your uh, to your overworld location. Now I'm going to get into how to precisely place nether portals in another video. 
Um, but you want to check coordinates and get to a spot that is, uh, makes the most sense in heading out on that spoke out to your location. When you go down these tunnels, you want to make sure that you're not getting in somebody else's way. And you don't want to put uh, nether portals too close to other people's because then they can start to crisscross. And again, that's something that I'm going to get into in a, uh, another video. The, uh, the rest of this is pretty self-explanatory. If you just spend a little time in a hub looking around how somebody did it, uh, you're going to start to understand the logic behind it. If you've never done one before, pfft, have fun. Go do what you want, maybe take some of these tips, and you're going to learn either uh, that you really caught the logic, or you're going to find that you really didn't catch the logic and need to uh, do something different. So that's it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave those uh, with the video. Uh, definitely subscribe. And if you didn't like what you saw, well, keep that to yourself, okay? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.